Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm uh, Omar Casey, founder and CEO of OQ Technology. Uh, it's really a great pleasure to be here today, uh, and I'm honored to be in this great event. And I'd like to thank the CST team and leadership for organizing this event and giving us this opportunity. I'd like also to thank uh, our partner investor, Aramco, uh, for the great trials that we achieved together. So let me switch. So actually, um, OQ Technology is the first company in the world today which has operating satellites providing standardized 5G IoT communication for machines, devices, and sensors. And uh, I'm going to take you through uh, the journey of the company when we started, uh, how we came up with this idea, and the different trials uh, that we did. So. Uh, the main problem, of course, that everyone is trying to solve is connectivity. And with IoT devices being in billions that need connection, there's an issue today that cell towers cannot really reach far enough to cover the, those devices and provide connectivity in remote and rural areas. And the networks today are very fragmented. Uh, you don't have global roaming for IoT, and also mobility is very limited. If you look at the current existing satellite IoT technologies, they are uh, very expensive. You have bulky hardware devices. And uh, the main issue also, all these are property technologies. They are not compatible with the global standard of cellular. And this is what we try to solve. So with our network, what we call the OQ1, we want to have one global network with true global coverage with one SIM card that you can have coverage anywhere and roam between terrestrial and satellite. And most importantly, one global standard, which is the 3GPP 5G IoT standard using these satellites. So when we started, we looked at all the existing satellite solutions, why this is so expensive, why it's very limited. And the problem that we found is that every satellite company come up with their own technology, their own chip, their own satellites, they want to rebuild an ecosystem from scratch, which is very difficult if you look at the econ economies of scale. Uh, the idea for OQ, we said, okay, back in 2016, we thought, why don't we use the existing mobile technologies, which are very standard. You have multiple operators, multiple users, multiple chip manufacturers. The ecosystem is there. The scale is huge. Let's try to bring this into satellite. We were the first to think about that, and this is when we started. So the main idea is we could connect existing unmodified uh, 5G IoT chips into, on modules into our satellites, or we can use indirectly an aggregator that collects data from different sensors and send that to our satellites, then into a very secure uh, network of the customer or our own network to display the data. And of course, the opportunity is very huge. It's projected that there will be 16, 60 billion IoT devices to be connected by 2025. And only the, the remote IoT market for that is about 6 billion. So as you see, we launch and operate our own satellites. These are nano satellites, very small, very low cost and quick to build and launch. They are shoebox size. This is like one of our satellites that was launched recently uh, last year. We did multiple launches also after that. Uh, also, uh, OQ Technology has, uh, we have seven patents filed in Europe and the US regarding the use of narrowband uh, IoT. Three of them are already granted. And most importantly, and from this venue, I would like also to thank CST and announce that we have been also listed into the new satellite uh, registry of CST in order to land traffic and have landing rights in the kingdom, which is very critical for us to start providing service in the kingdom. We have very strong partners, both in technology, but also uh, commercially. Uh, with our focus on the oil and gas, so there are a lot of applications that we can provide, whether it's in terms of security, safety, monitoring, but also control. I just want to announce that, if you, that recently, actually, Aramco also uh, led an investment round together with uh, Festos Fund from Greece in OQ Technologies. It was a 13 million round, so we're very grateful to Aramco for trusting uh, OQ Technology and uh, our service. 
And we've been having a lot of recognition recently through all these years, uh, whether it's, for example, winning the, the Nokia Open uh, uh, Innovation Challenge or also other uh, challenges and partnerships that we built over the years. And OQ technology is not just about the service and the connectivity that we want to do. We are here actually in the kingdom. We have main pillars that we are following in our strategy. First is we want to launch the service and product from uh, the kingdom into the MENA market. Uh, we want to build local partnerships. And also we are currently working to build one of the largest network operations center in the kingdom. We are actually established in the eastern region. And also we have a very long-term plan to uh, also uh, provide uh, job opportunities in the kingdom, more than 300 within the next three years. Uh, and we want to build value together, whether for the company or the, for the partners. And also we want to expand our expertise and generate patents together, but most importantly, use that to be the first in the world to launch different satellite services, with IoT being the first one of them. I just want to note also, like, we were the first company back in 2019 to test uh, narrowband IoT waveforms over low Earth orbit CubeSats, and we presented that at that time to the 3GPP, and this actually kicked off all this discussion about using 5G NTN, which is standardized today with release 17. Now I want to talk uh, uh, about the trials. So we did actually uh, last year uh, with Aramco and the Ministry of Energy and uh, also CST, two demos uh, with uh, respect to the oil and gas industry, but also the utility industry that uh, we're going to show shortly. For, uh, probably we can, can we show the video or it's after the presentation? Okay, so probably we could switch to show the demo. Assalamu alaikum and good morning. I'm Faisal al -Sif. Today, I'm lucky to be invited to witness an incredible demonstration ran hand by hand by CITC and OQ Technology. Let me introduce you to Engineer Mohammed al Shayer from CITC. Engineer Mohammed is in charge of the new experiment and service that we will test today. So, Engineer Mohammed, tell me about it. The idea is to bring connectivity into remote and connected areas by using a nano satellite constellation. The possibilities are endless and include, amongst other, asset tracking, monitoring, location notifications, and more. Mashallah. Sounds great. As far as I'm aware, today we're about to monitor some Aramco pipelines and get real-time vital parameters, temperature, humidity levels, and CO2 levels. Indeed, Faisal, as well as an embedded GPS ship that allows ground positioning with an accuracy of less than one meter. Let's now have a closer look at this very promising technology. Let's do As for every new experiment, there's a bit of apprehension. Yet, our team of highly skilled engineers have made this so easy that the only human interaction we need is to plug the terminal and play automatically. Everything has been planned perfectly, and uh, the connection has been multiply tested. Although previous experiments have been successful, today we're in a real-time scenario, and everything should run smoothly as previous experiments, but you never know. Let me recap. For this particular demo, we have wireless sensors that connect to a terminal using a Bluetooth technology. The terminal acts as aggregator, collect all the data from surrounding sensors, process the information, package it, and transmit them to a nano-satellite constellation. The data are then forwarded back down to Earth through a network of gateways. You know, Faisal, far away somewhere in the desert are invaluable assets which need constant monitoring, but you know, unfortunately out of the reach of the terrestrial network. We have equipped one of those pipelines with the OQ Technology sensors and terminal. After setting up the OQ Technology terminals that will communicate with all these sensors, the OQ Technology is very simple. When it's set, forget it. The nano satellite constellation acts as a gateway in the sky. Data is collected from ground terminals whenever they are, and then sent to one of the ground stations. Following that, the data are reachable on the cloud and available from anywhere, anytime. 
Amazing, it performs. It's exactly what we were expecting and waiting for. Look, we received all the parameters for monitoring the pipeline health and an accurate GPS location of the pipe we were to check. From now on, everyone can expect accurate assets monitoring even in those remote and connected areas. Pipeline monitoring is just one case among many others. Look, we even supported electricity sector's pilot experiment to connect with remote smart meters. Fantastic. Satellites offer global coverage. So the experiment team are able to read any meters anywhere in the kingdom. What an advanced technology. Today, remote and rural areas have the ability to stay connected and their data transferred in real time, fully secured and reliable. At CITC, we aim to bring communication technologies to life. So that yes. was uh, a glimpse at the uh, demos that we did. I can, uh, uh, due to the time, probably just uh, skip quickly uh, through uh, the results. So we had very impressive results, very low latencies, uh, like less than 10 milliseconds on a low Earth orbit satellite. This is like incomparable to me on geo satellites. We can do a lot with that, whether it's smart cars, drones. Uh, this is like also a picture with the, with the site, the pipeline that we monitored, and the wellhead. Um, and probably I could skip this. And uh, you can see the results actually uh, on the CST website. And also this is the smart meter that we uh, used to, in order to relay the data from this electric smart meter into the satellite, which are mainly daily consumptions and billing information which was relayed to the SCC and they were able to monitor that. Uh, the most important thing is that we were able to get the signal even indoor. So even inside the building where you have a smart meter, the signal was able to reach the satellite, which was very impressive for us. And, uh, and the main takeaways is because we are following the 3GPP 5G IoT standard, we could have a sustainable long-term technology as the standard evolves and update that on the satellites. We can have high level of security and re reliability, and most importantly, we can use the existing hardware with no investment required to create chips from silicon. And uh, I think that's, that concludes my uh, presentation. And finally, just want to show a very short video of our recent satellite launch that uh, we used for, for the demo. Thank you, Omar. Very excellent. Uh, quick question regarding the uh, 3GGP uh, standards and the accommodation of the satellite components. If you can uh, briefly shed light on this for just one minute. Uh, by following the 3GPP standard, we actually ensure that we're going to have a global access to a lot of standardized hardware that we can connect to our satellites. We are complementing the mobile network operators by allowing them to reach areas they cannot reach. Also, there are multi-layer of security built in the standard that we can already implement. We don't need to invent everything from scratch. The, the standard actually allows us to use that. But the main advantage is for users and customers, long-term users and customers like car manufacturers, they want to use a connectivity service and hardware that they are sure will exist for the next five to ten years. If they use uh, a product from a company that you don't know if it will exist today or tomorrow, non-standardized, this is a risk. But with a technology like OQs, it's a standard. There will be multiple operators, multiple chip manufacturers, multiple, a full ecosystem that OEMs and customers can rely on to, to uh, use that for their service. That's the advantage. All right, thank you very much for the answer.